the drama between Christian Horner and Josef Verstappen just seems to continue, seems to keep going. But this time, I don't know, it's a little bit more interesting. So these two have a little bit of a difficult relationship, I guess you could say. Now, this recent drama seems to be about Josef Verstappen being denied a drive in Red Bull's RB8. As a sort of celebration they were doing this weekend at the Austrian Grand Prix, Jos Verstappen claims to have been blocked of that opportunity by Christian Horner. Now, this is very interesting because you have two guys who clearly have very big egos, very strong personalities, and people like this are always going to clash. You know what it's like. I'm sure you have two friends in your circle, or you've known two people before, that are just similar in that way, in their head, and they just can't really seem to get along. This is what the relationship between the two seems to be like. You have two guys that feel like they're probably always going to be right, and neither one are willing to back down from each other. So of course, there's gonna be tension and the inevitable clash, which we keep seeing. It's like a recurring sort of thing, which has happened throughout this season mainly. I think you could go back to that whole Christian Horner ordeal and the public statements made by Jos Verstappen, not really holding back, letting his feelings known. And you can really see how that rubs off on Max Verstappen. The both of them very much have no filter. I think that, that is that sort of personality that they have in my opinion, or at least from what I see. It's clear to see where the tension is coming from, but this also raises a few questions, not only for Max Verstappen, but Red Bull as a team. Now, there were a few rumors, a few whispers earlier on in the season during that Christian Horner ordeal that people seemed to turn their back on him, kind of go public with their feelings and their thoughts to apply some sort of pressure on Christian to make him feel unwelcome in a way in his own team. And I think that this current drama is just a little bit petty. Now, Jos Verstappen, of course, has a right to, I don't know, feel upset or maybe angry to be blocked from doing such a thing, if this is true. Of course, you might feel like there's that one person holding you back or denying you or always trying to shut you down and get a step over you. And it's interesting because Max Verstappen seems to be in two minds about this. Saying that he understands his dad's frustration and that he has a right to be mad about this, but that the whole thing is sort of uncalled for and it really could have been avoided. Now, the relationship between Jos Verstappen and Christian Horner might have an effect on Verstappen's future. I mean, I don't think it will hold too much weight, but there still is the possibility that Max Verstappen is driven out of the team because maybe he feels like his dad isn't being treated right. The rumors of Max leaving Red Bull have kind of been lingering for a while now. And though I don't see him leaving just yet, I think this still brings up a very valid debate and very valid points as to where does Max go with this? Is this enough for Max to explore other opportunities, explore the possibility of leaving Red Bull? Now, I tend to agree with Max in that the drama could have been avoided and it is a little bit of a waste of time considering there is a championship to win, but it doesn't really seem to be slowing Max down. I think that's the interesting thing. It doesn't seem to be affecting his driving or really causing internal crisis moments. I don't think that that is what's happening here, but I think there's a little bit of a power struggle going on. And yes, Jos Verstappen isn't I guess, part of management or the top levels of Red Bull. He's just Max Verstappen's dad. But I still think that struggle there between Christian Horner, who is the team principal, has a firm grasp on Red Bull, has had a firm grasp for a very long time. I think that this causes an interesting cycle, which we haven't seen yet. I mean, what if this is to keep getting worse? What if these guys just can't put their differences aside? I mean, the two are seeing each other at every race weekend that Jos Verstappen will attend with Max. And I mean, that tension there would have to be awkward and a little bit weird. Look, in a working environment, right, if you're Max Verstappen, right, your father is basically having a falling out with the boss. I mean, there's no way that doesn't really shift your relationship with Christian. Now, yes, I'm sure those two are 
close and have done great things together at Red Bull, won multiple championships, but at the end of the day, it's still his dad. So like, I think Max would always side with him. So the question becomes, how big is the effect? Are there ripples? Look, it's an annoying situation for anyone to be in. I'm sure everyone's worked in an environment once in their life where two of your co-workers aren't getting on. It kind of makes the work environment, those sort of day-to-day -day activities, you can feel the tension in the air, you can feel a sense of awkwardness. No one wants that around. And yes, Jos Verstappen might not be an employee of Red Bull Racing, but public statements coming out and saying things to the media, I mean, it just pours fuel on the fire. And Jos Verstappen isn't the type of person from what I see as someone to hold back. I think him and Max, again, going back to that mentality, very much no filter, straight shooters in a way that'll always just say what they're feeling. No need to really hold back. We've seen it with Jos throughout the year. We've seen it with Max throughout his career. They seem to just say things that they are feeling in that moment, things that they believe, things that they have as an opinion, which can be a good thing. And it also can be a bad thing. I don't think anything has been said that is so totally outrageous that it's uncalled for, ridiculous, and needs to be pulled back in line. I think there have been some difficult situations lately, especially this season, and Jos Verstappen is making his opinions and his feelings about stuff public. Could that be a, a strategy for him to say, look, Christian, you know, if we're going to have some problems, I'm going to make them known. I'm not going to hold back. I'm not going to hide. I'm going to say what I think. I'm going to tell everyone what I am experiencing. And that is the Verstappen mentality. It's very much an old school mentality. PR out the window. If we have something to say, we are going to say it. I don't care what camera's on, I don't care what journalists are in front of me taking notes, it will be said. And you know what, you have to admire that to a certain point, unless it goes overboard and it's literally ridiculous and you're saying things that aren't true and things that are simply false. Look, that's fair enough. But I think so far, especially during this main sort of situation here, but I think because that tension has already existed and these two already have a bit of a rocky relationship, I think Jos Verstappen feeling like he has been blocked from this. I think with that previous history, there's more reason for him to publicly call out Christian Horner. Nothing we aren't used to in Formula One, but I think this team who are still leading the championship and might not have the fastest car right now, which is the current argument. If you were to tell me at the end of last year that Red Bull were going to be the team in 2024 with the most controversial media headlines, probably wouldn't have believed you.